Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to Mackelson RV. Uh, before we get into this video, I just want to uh, clear some things up that some people have been commenting on about. Uh, so these videos that we put out, they're not like regular regular walkthroughs you see out there uh, where these people go to these big RV events and show you the latest and greatest units. Uh, these videos are going to be for the customers who bought from us. Uh, and these are kind of walkthroughs on showing them how they work. Um, but you can get some good ideas because most appliances and RVs, they are in every single unit. So anyways, we'll get to it. So this is the 2019 Aspen Trail. Uh, this is 2850 BHS model. Uh, we'll start outside and walk her around and then we'll go in. We'll start up front first. So up front you have your tongue jack, you got up and down, and then you got a couple lights. Uh, if you're hooking up when it's dark out, help shine a little bit. You got your safety chains, and then your seven way cable for your lights and brakes. And then this is your breakaway cable and it has a little carabiner right there. And that you'll hook next to your chains. You won't hook it to your chains because um, this is like an emergency brake cable. Uh, so if for some ever re some reason this comes off while you're traveling, that will pull out and lock up the brakes for you. All right, and then you got 12 volt battery right there. And then under here, this is where your propane tanks are. And you got two uh, 20 pound propane tanks and you just open the valve to turn it on and then your regulator is right here and on top is a lever to change it to uh, what tank you want drawing from it uh, it's an automatic changeover regulator so if you have both tanks on and then have this one pointing to one tank that will be your service tank uh, the one you're using and then the other one will be uh, the backup one. Uh, so if this one goes empty while you're using it, it will automatically switch over and start drawing from that one. Okay, and then you can close this cover up. And then to go get your tanks filled, uh, this cover just slides up and then you can undo the wig nut up there and take the tanks out uh, and go get them filled. All right, uh, so you got pass-through storage up front, nice open area. There is a light on the other side. And then that crank right there is for your stabilizer jacks, which you have one on each corner. And those are only made for stabilizing, so you'll level the unit first, uh, back up onto blocks, uh, either way, uh, whatever side needs to go up. Then once it's level side to side, then you'll unhook from the truck and use a front tongue jack for front to back leveling once it's leveled crank those down until they hit the ground or if you have blocks under them and then give it half to three quarters of a turn just to put a little pressure on it you don't want to level the unit or pick it up with these jacks uh, or else they will bend all right so now we'll move down uh so you got your slide here and then right here you have a uh, gray tank valve uh, so that's one termination uh, to dump it and this one will be for the kitchen sink uh, so that's on its own separate tank and then your other two uh, waste valves are in the way back uh, right back here and they are labeled up here so you have your gray tank on the left and your black tank on the right your gray tank being your sink and shower water and the black tank being your toilet holding tank uh, so you got your valves gray tank here black tank there this will be the bathroom sink and shower and then the toilet uh, you'll leave these closed uh, the black tank especially make sure you leave it closed while you're using it there's a monitor panel inside. Once it reads about two thirds all the way full, that's when you come out and dump it. Um, pull the valve, let it empty once it's done. 
you'll pull the valve <clears throat> once it's done draining close it and then what i like to do is pull the gray tank after and it'll flush out the sewer hose for you that way it's not leaving a mess in there this one being the shower uh, valve you can leave this open while using it uh, because it's the shower so you don't want it, the tank filling up while you're using it uh, so that one's not a big deal if you have that one open or not um, but the one up there for the kitchen you would want to make sure that one's closed as well uh, because of food particles and stuff so all right uh right here this is where your power cord is and this just pulls out and then when you're done you shove it back in and you can have your cover closed uh, and there's a little uh slot right here that the cable can hang out of that way no water gets all in there uh, and this is going to be a 30 amp unit it's still 120 volts uh, it's just basically if you were plugged into a 30 amp breaker at home uh, then you got cable hookups here Then move to the back you got your spare tire uh, your bumper which these caps pull off and you can store your sewer hose in there you got an outside shower uh, so if you need to rinse things off outside you have your city water connection here and that is when you're at campgrounds or places that have uh, water hookups You'll hook your hose directly to this with a pressure regulator uh, and that just maintains the pressure inside so you don't have too much or too little and that gives you direct water to everything and then right here this is a black tank flush and so inside the black tank there's a little sprayer uh, so you can hook up the hose here when you're emptying that tank and it'll help flush things out uh, one thing to remember when using this is make sure the black tank valve is left open. Uh, that way the tank doesn't fill up and then you have a mess inside. So always have the valve open while using this. All right, now we'll be on the door side. Uh, you got a little outside kitchen here. Uh, you got a little sink with a little bucket. A uh, little two burner cooktop and then you have a mini fridge here and a little shelf and an outlet and this will slide in when you're done all right uh, up here this is the vent for the stove top uh, so you it'll vent out uh, a couple of speakers out here. Then you have your hot water heater. And this is going to be gas and electric. And the switches are inside for that. Uh, so you don't have to come out here and light anything. Uh, you got your plug here. Um, it'll just screw right in there. And then you can fill the tank up. And then to drain it, you got your pressure relief valve. You open that and then you can pull the plug uh, to drain it for the winter. All right, right here, this is a fresh water fill. Uh, so you have a portable water tank on board. Uh, so if you went to a state park or places that didn't have water hookups um, or a long trip, you can have water on board with you. Uh, so you fill it there and it's just gravity fed and the drain for it is right there and it's just a little pet cock you uh, turn to drain it or fill it. Alright, uh, right here this is uh, the exhaust for your furnace. You just want to make sure nothing's in the way of that when using it because uh, that gets pretty hot. A couple outlets here. And then this is the vent for the back of the fridge. Uh, you'll never have to go back there. It's just where it vents and where we have access to service it. Then you got an entrance uh, directly to the bedroom. And the other side of storage compartment. And your light just has a push button in the center. All right, now we'll be going inside. Uh, before you do... Uh, this unit has uh, the Moor Ride uh, solid steps. 
And so these are just on a hinge. You can get a little handle um, to grab a hold of. You got your lock here, so that'll lock it um, in place. And then you pull that and then you can fold the steps down. And then on each leg, there's a pin and you can adjust the length of the legs. And you want to adjust it so that this part of the step is sitting flush on the bottom of the door sill. That way, when you open and close the door, it doesn't uh, rub against the steps. Uh, to the left, when you walk in, this is going to be your uh, converter. Um, and it has all your fuses right there. And then all your breakers are right here. And to the right, when you walk in, you have your control panel. And so this has all your switches on it. Uh, so you got your water heater switches here. Uh, this one will be to run it on gas. And then this one is for electric. And then this one is uh, the switch for your water pump. And this you'll use only with the fresh water tank. If you're hooked up to city water, you don't have to worry about this. You got exterior lights under the awning. And then this one will be for your interior lights. And then this one is just run off a push button. You have your awning switch here. You have extend and retract. And with these awnings, they don't stop on their own, so you have to uh, watch it while rolling it out. There'll be a valance that folds down. Once you see that valance, just let off the switch, um, and you're all set to go. And if it's really windy or starts downpouring, you want to roll the awning in. That way, no damage is caused to it. Then you got your slide room switch here, and all you do is press and hold it uh, in and out, and then it'll make a clicking sound once it's all the way in and out. Up here, this is your monitor panel, so you push these buttons, and it'll tell you how full your tanks are. Um, and you can also keep track of somewhat of an estimate of how charged the battery is. Um... And to get an accurate reading, you have to be unplugged from the shore power. Because uh, when you're plugged in, it automatically puts um, 13 volts to it. So make sure you're unplugged if you want to do that. Alright, starting in the back, you got your bunks. Your bathroom. Light switch on the right. You got your sink. Outlet. Medicine cabinet. Uh, hook for your towels. Uh, you got your shower with tub. And then your toilet. Uh, you got a little foot pedal here to flush it. And you got some storage underneath the sink. Your thermostat's right here. Uh, you turn it on. Uh, auto is um right here um this if you change it to low or high will turn on the fan and the air conditioner and then you want to make sure it's an auto when you go and use the furnace and then you got cool and then you got your heat and then you have off and you have your dinette here which you can fold down into another table you just lift the table up and then uh, rested on these blocks here. Got your jackknife sofa. And you just lift up on this. And that will fold down into another bed. You have your fridge here. And it's just a little button you press. And it will turn on. Uh, when it's green, that means you're running on electric. If it goes orange, that means it's running on gas, um, and then it's flashing red. Um, means it's not running on anything, which either if you're just running on gas, uh, you could have run out of gas, or if uh, the power went out and then your tanks weren't on, it would do that. Uh, you got your stove top here. 
and this just folds up and then you got your knobs and sparker right here and you want to make sure these are cooled down before folding this back down and then your oven is in here and you got the knob for the oven and light and then you got the stove top light and fan and your microwave I got your sink and a little cutting board cover to go over it little drawer and your cabinets up here and then uh, this little baggie has all the uh, manuals to all the appliances you got a little pantry closet next to the fridge and it, uh, it does have a little light in there then you got the TV, radio, and fireplace. Fireplace is pretty easy to use. You got your power button. Uh, you can change the color of the lights. Uh, you can change the brightness of the lights. And then that will be the temperature. Uh, your radio is also your DVD player. And that's uh, once you put the DVD in, uh, it'll automatically uh, switch to that. And then you just have to switch it on the TV. Uh, and it's also Bluetooth, so you can connect your phone to it. And then right here where it says Zone 1 and Zone 2, uh, you can have inside and outside playing, or just inside, and turn outside off, or vice versa. And then you have the bedroom. You do have an outlet right here. And then you ha do have another spot to hook up a TV. And then outlets on each side of the bed. Then you got your sliding door. And then this latch for travel. So it's not rattling around everywhere. And you got closet space on each side. And a shelf above with lights above the bed. And then there's also storage underneath the bed as well. And then you got some more drawers and bigger uh, space right there and another little hanging spot and then you got some more storage up here uh, so that is everything to do with the 2019 Aspen Trail um, thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed it